Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. So today we are trying things. <laughs> now, I can't really call this a whole face because I don't have a foundation. However, this brand does make foundation. Sorry, I just put eye drops in, so I'm gonna look high for a few, <laughs> for a few minutes. Yes, so I can't remember if I've tried stuff from Kosas before. That's what we're trying today. I know I've tried their lip oil in a Keep It, Fix It, Dump It video. I can't remember. I think I've tried their brow gel and it was okay. Maybe not good enough for my heavy, thick brows, but that is what we are doing today, trying out some Kosas products. These were all, every single uh, product you see in this video has been gifted to me from Space NK. Just to reiter reiterate, that's not an ad. I'm not inclined to give positive or negative reviews about any of these products. Okay, I can do whatever the f I want basically. Just we'll get into it, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start off with this. This is a Kosas Plump and Juicy Vegan Collagen Spray On Serum Total Skin Reset. Love a good long, long name like that. So it says firming, lifting, plumping, soothing, strengthening, hydrating. Here's, here's a thing with like products. There's very few products where they say they're like plumping and I know it's like a plump in my skin, but I just like, you know me, I like serums to hydrate. I have nothing on my skin at the moment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this right on. And things are moving around in this room today by themselves. It smells like an allergy spray I used to use. It's not terrible, but it's skincare. It's not like a thing. It's very lightweight. It feels very almost like watery on the skin, absorbing very, very quickly, which is nice. Things like this, I really, you know me, I like serums just as my primer. And then that's it. And on those days when I do need a primer, I, I will go ahead and use one. Okay, so while we're prepping the skin, let's go in with this. This is the Plump and Juicy Lip Booster Buttery Treatment. Now, something I always look for in lip products, there's some lip products, right, that <laughs> I feel like they don't necessarily hydrate. They just kind of, well, they kind of make my lip feel uncomfortable. It feels like there's like a layer on my lip and then it just kind of gets all like schmooey up in there. So I like something to be absorbed quite quickly in terms of a lip balm. Obviously not a lip gloss or lipstick. I don't want to absorb it into my skin. This is it right here. It has this nice little... Texture's quite thick. It's not like Vaseline, but then it's also not like a lip um, balm that I usually need to choose, you know? Like it's not like watery like some you get. Doesn't really smell like anything either. It's kind of like, if I was to describe the um, smell, or I guess flavour with lip balm, it's plain. Original. It doesn't... Mm. Oh, my lips do look kind of, wait, is it tingling? No, is it? No, no, is it? Okay, my lips do, I, I was just looking at my lips and they do look a little bit plumper. Oh God, I need to get my eyebrows done again, my lashes done again. But it's not tingling, there's no tingle. I can't, I'm, I think I'm expecting a tingle because when I think of plump, I think of painful, chilly, you know? No, they look kind of a little bit plumper without the pain. That's cute. Okay. We'll see. We'll see how my lips feel a little bit later on. Okay, let's go in for eyebrows. Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil. Dual Action. How so? I have to say, I do love this kind of like see-through plastic packaging. I think it's really, really nice. Very, um, how my bedroom used to look in the 90s, you know? Oh, well. I want to keep my skin looking real for you all. Okay, so let's uh, just try it in the brows. It's a very skinny, you can see like very thin. It's one of those triangle ones, which I didn't really like until I tried, who was, whose was it? M, Cos M Cosmetics? I tried theirs and I was like, oh, this is actually quite nice. So when it's done properly, it's nice, but there's some which I really don't get on with. So, and this one is a little bit more paper thin. So we're gonna go in with a thinner side up here and then just do like individual brush strokes right here. And I do, I actually already, I have a brow wax on already. So it is, I mean, to be fair, it's, it's drawing on top. So that's quite good. I'm not gonna fill in this whole area here because I still want that bit to look like hairs. I don't want that thick early Instagram block brow. Honestly, I've, I haven't done my brows in so long that I don't even know what shape they're meant to be in right now. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. This is a good brush. This is, you can fit, can you see that like tug? It has a slight tug. That's nice, okay. I mean, it's a brow pencil and it's it's nice. There's nothing like majorly stand out about the brow pencil. I do appreciate the color. That the, it's black, the shade is called black, but it's not pitch, pitch black to a point where it looks fake. Um, for me, in, in, in my personal style of how I like brows, I do prefer the pens at the moment. 
that could change in a year. But to me, the pens have a little bit more of that kind of like individual hair stroke. And that's how I like my brows to look. However, if you do like more of a uh, a thicker brow, then this might be a good one to go for. But I, I do prefer to create the individual hairs. It's a good pencil um, and I'll, I'll keep it round. <laughs> I do prefer pens at the moment. Okay, then we actually have an eyeshadow and this, oh, I just threw the packaging on the floor. It's this, 10 second something waterproof. <laughs> this is the shade Simmer, which is just like this, really neutral and just kind of like, has like a, a neutral shine to it. Doesn't smell like anything. I guess to start. I do like these kind of like paint on eyeshadows, especially these ones that are a little bit more um, neutral in tone. I'm just trying to find a flat brush here. This is a rare beauty one. Just because they can, you can use them like really subtle or you can go like full on in and do like a whole like look with them, but they're really cute. Just kind of pressed onto the lid with a little bit of mascara. I wonder if this will make a good highlighter, actually. We'll have, a, we'll have a try. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. It's very, like, simple. This will be nice on top of, like, a brown eyeshadow kind of look. Let's just give it a few minutes and see about its creasing situation. What I'm gonna do is, I don't have any foundation um, or anything like that, but we do have a setting powder. So I'm gonna do my foundation and concealer, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've done a bit of contouring. I've done foundation, concealer. Let's check the lids. No creases. This is just my um, inside corner here. That's just how wrinkly my lids are. But no, it hasn't creased. I, we don't have that line in the socket, which is beautiful. I wonder if these would make a good eyeshadow base. I don't know if they do a matte one. It could be worth looking into. Okay, so we have the Cloud Set Bait Setting and Smoothing Powder. Oh my God, I thought it was gonna break. I thought that was it. I was like, don't even bother filming the rest. Ooh, cute packaging, love it. And this is it. it. It gives a very much um, MAC mineralized skin finish in terms of the shape and texture. It is a lot sheerer than it, oh, that, that looks like it's got color, but it really, it really is very, very sheer. I would definitely, from looking at it on my hand, get the right shade because it does give off a bit of color, but it's, it's sheer-ish. Okay, oh, so it is, it's one of those baked ones, so do be careful, there's a lot of, um, what's it called? powder jumping out. I'm just going to tap in the areas where I get a little bit oilier. That's really nice. It's actually very smooth um, in terms of the texture. I'm not saying it's smoothing out my skin, but it, it, the, the powders are very smooth powder. Nice. It feels really lightweight as well. I can't physically feel it on my skin. Not that I usually go in ham with a powder, but it, it does feel really, really lightweight. So it says it's baked with, so when it's domed like that as well, and one thing you can notice from the bottom here, these are usually baked on like a tray or like sometimes like terracotta little discs. So they're baked as like a slush or a slurry. And that's why these domed ones are always really soft because they're baked. However, would I choose this over like my Ciate powder, my Luciate powder to set? Not really, just because I feel like with this, although it is extremely, extremely lightweight and I can't really feel it, I do feel like I am adding another layer of products to my skin in a way. Whereas with those finely milled powders, the By Terry, Ciate, you know, those nice clear ones. I do feel like it's just like a veil on my skin, but I do like it. Again, something I might consider using when I'm not wearing foundation and I do just need like a little bit of help in, in those certain areas. Let's finish up with one of the lip oils. I have the shade Jellyfish, which is clear, and Unhooked, which is a creamy beige, which might sound boring to people, but I, there's nothing I love more than a creamy beige. So let's try the clear one first. It says it's clear, but it has this really beautiful, like it looks like a milky peach, you know? Peach milk. And when I tried this before, I was quite impressed because, you know, oh, her lip oils. I can't, I, I'm just like, when everyone's like, there's a lip oil, I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, another one. Whereas this actually felt more like a gloss hybrid. Yeah, and they, they do feel really good. Like, it looks glossy, right? But it doesn't feel tacky in any way. And then it doesn't feel lip oil-like, where it feels like it's just, like, hanging around on the lip. What I do want to try is this shade, though. So I'm just going to blot this away. So this is un Unhooked? Unhooked. Wait, is it, like, fish fiend? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes to this. <gasps> Sorry, I just gasped. I'm sorry. I know people hate that. Oh, I love, do you know how excited nude lip colors make me? Love it. Adore that color. Absolutely adore that color. That is so nice. 
You know what would have been better if I just like foundation to my lips slightly beforehand. Love it. This is staying right here, right where I can see it and use it. That's a really nice shade. And I love how the color looks smooth on the lip. These are really nice. I, I, I think I, um, part of me is a little bit like a lip oil. I'm so over it, but this is really beautiful. This is a really nice finish and a really nice. I just, oh, have I missed a whole patch? Yes, I have. Okay, well, that's it. I don't know why I shouted so much, sorry. <laughs> I'm alone in a house shout, shouting at a camera. That's it for um, Kosas. Those are really, really nice. And some of them not necessarily overwhelmingly like, oh my God, but the lip oil, beautiful. The eyeshadow, this is really nice. If they have a matte one, I need to look into it because I love I love using, when I go to events and stuff like that, I like using eye primer on my eyelids, not concealer, because I want to guarantee that it doesn't crease. And this isn't creasing. So it'd be nice to see what kind of matte shades they have. Um, the, the skincare bits, a serum spray and um, the serum spray and the lip balm. The lip balm was cute. It did, it did, um, uh, it almost smoothed out the lines in, in my mouth, in my lips a little bit, which was really nice. So that's cute. But again, nothing to go crazy for. This is a good idea in terms of I will carry this with me. It is glass though. That's the only thing. Um, I will carry it with me because it's a good, I mean, it's a skincare thing, but it's also a skin prep thing for me in terms of serum. So that's a, like a, a few in one there. What else did I use? The powder's nice. You know what it is with this? I'm in focus. With a lot of this stuff, it's very much no makeup makeup day for me. It's very much no makeup makeup day kind of um, style. So I'm excited to discover more shades in this and this, this lip oil is absolutely stunning. So, well, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you've tried any products from Kosas down below. Be interesting to try their foundations, concealers and see how they are. Do consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.